This story starts as a passion that was once my dad's. As a young girl, I grew up in Lancashire, close to the Lake District. It was inevitable that my dad would take me along on some of his hill walks. I remember these times fondly, the rugged textures, the variety of colours, and the enormous sense of achievement to finally make it to the top. Although I didn't continue when I was older, when life got in the way, children, work, money, but the hills were always calling. I found Mark, the perfect partner, someone else crazy enough to wild camp on the hills with me. Our first adventure would be three days and two nights on the hills. This was all in preparation for another crazy idea I had. As we wanted to film as we went along, Mark also had to take the drone. We both took our Osmos. The tent was split between us. Mark took the poles and the pegs, and I took the main body of the tent. We both already had most of the gear that we needed, but the final purchase were the down sleeping bags. We'll give a review on those later. And that was it, the beginning of our 214 Wainwright Challenge. Day one, here's Mark. Can you tell what colours Mark likes? Yep, he's definitely colour coordinated. Uh, I think Dylan needs to be a little bit green, so watch this space. That's probably going to happen. Day one, where are we going, Mark? Um, what's he called? Coniston. Well, first of all, where are we? Um, Parked on the bottom of Coniston. Right, that's the easy part. And we're going up Coniston and the, I don't know what it is, one of the Wainwright routes, which is about 30 miles, was it? Or I'm not quite sure. So, so what are we doing? Are we coming all the two, way down again? No, two days, two days in the hills, up there, behind you. Day 12, <laughs> Mark's last log. Um, I've lost Sue, don't know where she's gone miles from nowhere um, as you can see this is proper wilderness country um, the only way out is over the top of that hill I don't think I'm gonna make it back alive um, no tea not had tea for a, at least half hour uh, unbelievably hard but onwards and upwards just for a YouTube channel this as you can see I'm absolutely knackered we're gonna carry on now yep Oh no, he sat down. You're not going to have to get it back up now. Why did you sit down? I'm consulting the map. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Consulting the map. There's a hill there, and there's a hill there. What else is your idea? <laughs> can you see the gate on the map? <laughs> no, I can't see the gate either. Right, we're doomed. Right, we're just going to work out where we are. Right, so it was a bit like, it was a bit like American Werewolf in London, where the guy says, you know, stick to the path. We didn't stick to the path. Anyway, but we found the path now, so we're all good. Whew. Okay, 
Ooh. Found a path. Yes. A path. Yeah, I know. I gotta get up there. This isn't even a path, this is a road. Hmm? This is a road. No, this is a path. This is the sort of path that you'll get from a Wayne Bright route. Well trodden. Okay, are we right then? Are we happy now? We are, I'm happy now. We're on a, we're on a path, not a boggy field. Okay. Okay. That's what I said. If I say run, run. No, don't do that, Mark, look. I've got. Yeah, but you don't want to wear Who's carrying the tent? Who you got? Um, Actually, he's got the cooking supplies. I've got the cooking supplies, I've got the drone. He's got no tea bags in him, so. No tea bags. He's going to send a flare up later, probably. Okay. Send tea. Anyway. Onwards and upwards. I have found my reasons now to keep my burdens left behind. I did not know what it would bring. Now I'm capable of everything. new home it's a windy I don't know if you can see that winds its way down and up as well how you feeling I feel like I've got legs and I'm totally grateful for them for getting me Very nice legs. to here. <laughs> Get your eyes off my legs. <laughs> we found home. It's going to be here, exactly where my shadow is. Day 94 <laughs> of the survival adventure. So the sun's going to go down there, obviously, which means hopefully it's going to come up here. Yeah. I think I'm going to do right. my own video. So we're going to put up the tent. You're going to do food, please. <laughs> I'm doing my own video. Your one ain't um, exciting enough for YouTube. Day 64, the survival adventure. <laughs> I'm out of food, out of water. I'm at, um, I think I'm at 20,000 feet here. Okay, so this is going to be home for the night. Uh, area there looks reasonably flat. The sun is going down behind the hills, as you can see, and we've made reasonable progress. Um, I'll take you up here and show you. Ooh. Ah. We've come up from the lake down there. Uh, Oh, it's a fantastic uh, evening, really nice, sunny, blue sky, a couple of clouds, um, and I think it's going to be um, rainy in the morning, I believe, I'm not sure, um, showers is forecast tomorrow, so we might wake up in fog and poor visibility, but uh, 
who knows the sun might be out and uh, the sun might come up over there somewhere with a bit of luck and shine on our tent which is over there um, I don't know where Sue is I think she's gone off to go to toilet Shh. don't say Halfway up Coniston. Halfway <laughs> up Old Man of Coniston in um, a Van Gogh Banshee tent and we're inside two down sleeping bags. Uh, Mark wanted the expensive rab ones um, and they didn't have them in Go Outdoors so we bought instead the Go Outdoors brand. Is that right? Can you yeah, remember what? I'm hoping it's not going to be a mistake. We haven't, this is the first time we've used them. Um, we should have brought a thermometer like Mark said, um, but we're thinking it's going to go down to about three degrees tonight. Um, we're already in the sleeping bags because it's really windy at the moment. So we're in the tent and it's really windy, uh, causing a lot of wind chill, obviously. So uh, we're in the tent, tent and we're in the sleeping bags and it's only what? Nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um, we bought the sleeping bags. They weren't given to us, so we'll tell, let you know in the morning what we think of them. We survived the night. Day two. Day two. Um, still in the same position, same place, obviously. Um, the only way you can tell the difference between night and day, or last night and this morning, the sun is now over there. Um, we missed the sunrise by a mile. Um, I think I woke up about half past six and it was bright and sunny. Um, clear skies. We have, we have a third that can't sleep. Sleeping bags was a big success. Uh, I could have actually uh, stripped off to me thermal underwear and been totally fine. Um, very warm. And they were only uh, 100, 110 quid sleeping bags. Yeah, it just goes to show that so, you don't necessarily have to get the name brand for the wrap. Yeah, the, the wrap um, sort of equivalent I was going to buy was about 240 for the wrap and 110 quid for these, these we just used here. And they've been totally fine with, for us. Um, very warm. It's been quite windy all night. The tent has done quite well actually. Um, but yeah, it was going well. Um, onwards and upwards today to the tops. Progress is slow. Uh, got this little peak here, and then we've got Coniston over there. Um, both of these are uh, Wainwrights, and uh, the weather isn't looking so great now behind us, as you can see. You have to speak up because the camera won't hear you, the wind. This is not one, um, this is just a pile of stones, that one there is, and then that one over there, and then we're going to follow those tops over. How are you feeling? Alright, you didn't bring any tea or hot chocolate. I know, I know. 
That was definitely... Seeing hot chocolate would have gone down well now. Rookie, rookie mistake. Can't mention that though, because that lady was hot chocolate. <laughs> rookie mistake on my behalf this time, see? We all make them. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put the camera away and carry on so we don't get wet. I have found my reasons now. We finally made it to the top and as you can see, Mark decided to have a little sit down. The views weren't great because, well, the mist had come in, so we actually had no view at all. But luckily for us, after Mark had decided to finish having his little rest, the mist had cleared and we got a fantastic view. We came up the left side of this long, dark, grey ridge line and then followed it along the tops. Mark, what day are we on? Huh? What day are we on? Two. Oh, only two. Okay. Um, day two. Um, we've climbed some mountains. We've come down some mountains. <sighs> We've still got to go down and up some mountains. Actually, what we're doing now, we are coming down this one and then there's a path all the way up to the top of that one but we are not going to make it up there so we're going to try and find somewhere to camp potentially halfway up and then tomorrow we continue along the top bringing us back down, I don't know if you can see my finger back down somewhere to where Mark's van is parked Anyway, we're having a great time, aren't we? Um, yeah. Can't wait to do it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have found my reasons now To keep my burdens left behind I did not know Tent is up for the second night. Um, Pretty decent place, overlooking the hills, and um, we're just having dinner. And we've got a really yum, yummy knot um, boil in a bag food. Um, what is this? This is the the summit, summit to eat. Um, what do you think of it? Um, it's definitely better than the one we had um, last night which was the way... Oh, we've got that. We've got some of that tonight. We've still got that. Yeah, way Yeah, it was there, wasn't it, yeah. last night? Yeah, that was... It was okay. It tasted nice. There was just not enough yeah, of it. just not enough. I've got chicken fajita. You're going to laugh at me when I say that. Fajita. Fajita. And rice, with rice it says. And rice, and yeah, this actually tastes okay. Mine's past bolognese, mine tastes okay as well. So, the tent's up earlier than it was yesterday. Um, yeah, we're both quite tired tonight, or this afternoon. So I'm currently Quarter past five in the evening. I'm probably gonna go probably gonna go in the tent. Well, after we've eaten this probably. As soon as I got in bed last night I went straight to sleep. I was out like a light. I like it how he says got in bed when it's like just a sleeping bag and yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> um We're right we're quite close to the path though, aren't we? So we're not gonna get woken up though. Yeah, we was we're going to knock off another, we're still quite high up, um, we're going to knock off one of the other hills. But we're just too knackered to be honest, the packs were a little bit heavier than what we thought they were going to be. We were slower, older, struggling a little bit. So we don't know whether tomorrow when we wake up we might just go straight back to the van, because um, that's going to take us up quite a while anyway. Or we might attempt to do the other, the last one, but... Hmm. Mm. 
it's one of them uh, if we don't do it now we'll have to come back up later I think we'll see what the weather's like in the morning sun's out now look at that glorious mm. yes yeah, nice in the sun um, when the sun's out and the sun's on you it's nice but as soon as the sun goes beyond the cloud and the wind picks up it's really cold it's bitter yeah Maybe Dylan might be a bit warmer tonight. Yeah, I'll definitely buy these again. Although they are quite expensive for what they are. For it tastes really salty, mine as well. Really salty. That's I okay. I don't know if that's to combat the salt that you might lose, but. Mm. We got rained on a bit, didn't we, as well? Yeah. Um... Coming over the top uh, today, had a shower and quite strong winds. All one side of, of, of my pack and me, I got soaked, you got soaked as well, didn't you? Mm. But dried off as soon as it stopped. But yeah, as soon as the rain stopped, um, everything dried out again pretty quick. Oh, um, yeah, this is actually filling me, whereas last night's Yeah, last tea, night's one didn't fill me, where this one... I can feel that I've eaten it. Mm. So you don't get a lot in there, but it's alright. And this is better as well because you haven't got to wash up after. You haven't got to boil this I one in the pan. It. It's really salty. I think it's really salty. Mm. Maybe it's just a bolognese bit. You eat it. No, it tastes That's got bit. quite a strong tomato. -y. I think it's the tomatoes are quite sweet. It's got like sweet tomatoes in it. Mm, tastes really salty to me. <clears throat> so I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how, how many miles we've covered today. Or uh, do you know? No. Um, we'll have a look and see. If we can put it up in the description somewhere. I have found my reasons now. My burdens left behind I did not know what it would bring now I'm We're out of water, aren't we, Mark? Whose fault is that? It's slightly my fault because uh, I put the water on top of the stove This morning's porridge to do to do <laughs> To do um, porridge, but... Um, so this, well, so I don't know if you can see Mark's poles, but that's where we camped and we have to get all the way up to this hill and we've got about a cup full of water left and we saw this big lake and we can see a bit of a stream going down to the lake so we knew that there's a water source somewhere so luckily for us, because Mark was going to traipse all the way down to that bit of stream, obviously the water comes from somewhere. So he's found a puddle. He said it was a puddle, but it, it looks a <laughs> really nice puddle to me. So he's just, what are you doing? I'm filtering it, just to make sure. Filtering it just because it might have a bit of gunk in it and... It was, it's not running, it's not flowing, so it's stagnant, or oh, not stagnant, but it's not flowing, so yeah, it's, work, just to be safe. it's not flowing, so yeah, we did, we have picked up a bit more, we picked up some previously from way over here somewhere, um, but again, a bit of a mistake, we didn't fill up all the water bottles, but still, we would have still run out, wouldn't we? Even even if we'd filled all the water bottles up, which were pretty much full at that point anyway. But we uh, we did tea last night. We used the water, some water up, um, and we drunk some. Obviously, the dogs were really thirsty this morning. They really wanted some of our water, but we didn't have enough to spare. And we knew that they'd be able to find some, so. Has, have they both had some of this? 
So they've both had a drink now, so they'll probably eat their food when they go back. As long as my dog doesn't jump in this little bit, we'll be all right. Yeah. Because you can see, I don't, know, I don't know if you can see, but it looks really clear, but at the bottom there's obviously a whole load of mud and gunk. But Mark's just filtering it through this little filter system it's and then this. it's going in there. I'm glad you've got it. But he had to come back for the filter because he didn't take it. Yeah, initially I thought I'd be going downhill a lot further. I don't know if you watched the other video, um, but I did a video drinking water from something a lot worse than this. So for those of you that might be concerned that it's not flowing and it crosses a path and there could be sheep poo in it and all that sort of stuff, um, I've used this filter in far worse situations and been fine from it. Do you know what sort of filter it is? Can you remember? Or is it got a brand name? Or um, It is. It's a Moco. Uh, um, it's a Chinese filter, I believe. Uh, sold on Amazon. Um, you can buy re reusable cartridges, re re replaceable cartridges, should I say. Um, but this one, back flushes, is safe to use for six... 600 I believe, 600 gallons. Um, so we drink in the water so, making um, it muddy. It will last for ages. So there's Sebby drinking that bit of water up there which is stirring up a bit of mud but that bit of mud then gets filtered itself through all these um, all the greenery and the moss and everything else. Hey Zeb, what do you think? You can't jump in it. I think this filters out to 0.0... Uh -uh. 0 0.03 I think. Um, I know it's lower, the microns are lower than the the um, some, of, some of the better makes. So it's got like a little Got a little float it's on, got, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got a little filter on that end to get rid of any bigger stuff, and then it's got a filter inside. But it's got what I'm saying is it's got a little float to keep it to the top, yeah. so you don't. So and it doesn't. It's also got a charcoal sink. charcoal filter uh, built in, so it will remove any contaminants. So these are our bottles. Now we'll fill up with water once again. Well, then I'll cook. Do you want porridge? Yeah, please. I'm starving. Right. <laughs> he was not impressed when I spilled the water. Hopefully he forgives me when I cook him porridge. <laughs> He'll not forgive me when we're up that hill. Oh, I'm happy I haven't got to go all the way down the hill. I said that would be about half hour down and half hour back up. But yeah, this ain't too bad. It's quite close. Dylan's about to see the water and jump in it. He's <laughs> speeding up. <laughs> Quite quick, actually. So we are great supporters of the Leave No Trace, and uh, if everyone did the same, it'd leave the countryside looking a whole lot better. I don't think you'd be able to tell where we camp, really, would you? No, other than a bit of flattened grass from the tent. The ground's not. The ground's not even really flat because it's sloped. Yeah. <laughs> right. So day three. How are you feeling? It's day three, is it? It's day, it's day three. three. It is day three, yes. Day three. Yeah. Day three. I'm ready. My legs are not great, but last day and then down again. If I'm honest, um, I didn't have a very good night's sleep. Um, it was a bit slopey and I kept on waking up. The dog was cold um, and I'm a bit achy. Yeah, my legs are aching. My knees, uh, particularly... Um, my right one for some reason. I think it's because I've got a bad left knee and uh, I've been compensating with the right. So I think that's started to hurt a little bit. Um, and I do feel a bit shattered. Um, I think the packs must weigh about about 35 kilo, I reckon the packs weigh. Um, a, a bit less than 40 kilo, I'd say. Um, but that's not absolutely certain. And they're not that, that too bad. Um, 
but this is all a trial for the coast to coast. Someone had the idea that they wanted to walk the coast to coast. Oh, well, I've heard that only the first part is potentially hilly. And then we're just in a straight, you know, a bit of a flat. And if anybody wanted to support us and, uh, you know, meet us. Walk it, walk it for me. <laughs> meet us and to give us supplies and especially water because we might not. Well, I, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. We'll be all right with water. Anyway. Right, let's march on. And I thought I'd give you some sort of sense of what we're actually going up. Um, it's not all flat. It's like, it's like walking upstairs constantly for a couple of hours. just keeps going. I thought it'd be my turn to film. Whew. That's where we came from. And that's where we're heading. Uh, all these oh step like placements to get up there and Zeb makes it look so easy just walking it's pretty much what I've been doing just kind of following Mark he keeps stopping but I've got got trousers on which have zip off legs so in a minute I'm going to be zipping those legs off because I am boiling we keep passing people that have just got little tiny rucksacks on they're going so much faster than us but I guess it's a lot easier when you've only got a little rucksack when you've got a big heavy one. Yeah, we're in the sun, which is good. But the view from the top's even better. So, onwards and upwards. Day three, and today's goal is Wevelham, um, which is that up there, or a bit further over maybe, maybe a full summit. But yesterday's walk was from that pinnacle along here and down this band of rock. Um, maybe we'll be able to draw a line on, the, on our um, video to show you. So that's the top of the peak I thought we were going up and obviously it's not. Um, it's a false summit once again and the way we are going is up the top of there and that has to be the summit of Wevelham um, <clears throat> because I don't think there's anything beyond that uh, I think it's all downhill from then on that's the views we've got don't you hate a false summit? yeah <laughs> but great views though and the weather is fantastic I need some water. Should we stop and have some water? That's where we've just come from. And the dogs have found a really muddy... Well, it wasn't really muddy actually. It looked muddy. A uh, big water hole to drink out of. So they're happy again now. And this is the summit of Wevelham. And when I get right at the top, Be able to see all around. Oh. 
We're not as high as we were, look. So that's, oh, I don't even know which they are anymore. So we're now, we're now on the way down, aren't we? We're still on day three. <laughs> um, we're coming down. This is what we're having to come down from. Yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. So, yeah, I don't know if you can even gauge what that's like. Going up would have been hard on your legs, but coming down is just uh, spookily scary. Uh, and trying to film while you do it is probably a death sentence. <laughs> so I'm going to stop recording. Otherwise, you might not see me again. So yeah, we've got a. It looks like it gets a bit gentler in a minute, but that's what we've come down. So you can't see really what we've come down, um, but that was quite horrible. Um, very steep in sections of it. But now we're back down to reasonably flat path down. So quite a lot of the path on the way down has been like this. Um, you, you've got to just sort of trust your feet and step across. turn around you will see you okay up there go over to your right go to your right it's, it's less steeper no uh, to my right that's it come down there hopefully not a little bit before this section of Wevelham, on a really steep descent, we met two lovely men on their way up. A gentleman called Keith and his friend Christopher. They were most concerned for us coming down the really, really steep part. He even said that he wouldn't attempt it himself. We assured them that we would take it steady and that, we thought, would be the last time we saw them. And we continue. from the van than uh, we would have liked to be. Mark's deciding that he does not want to be with me anymore and that's it, that's the end. He quit. I just want to go back to my van. He quit his job in London for this. I want to be a van man again. Um, for I'll any, be really glad to see the van. For any of you that used to work with Mark, 
He wishes he was back there with a cup of tea. <laughs> no, not by far. <laughs> I've nearly killed him. <laughs> we have just crossed. So there's a footpath that runs up there and we were on it, but I realised that um, there was actually footpaths that crossed the river with a really beautiful um, bridge. Oh, you filmed the bridge, I've didn't you? filmed the bridge, yeah. Filmed the bridge. So yeah, we crossed that bridge. That was really nice. Um, meant we didn't have to get our feet wet in the valley. Um, we're carrying on that way now. If you'd like to know the exact route we took, we would be more than happy to share it. Just leave us a comment, or of course, message us on Facebook or Instagram. Trudging on the road. Uh, we've done the bit of hill and the only way back now really to the van is on the road. Mm. So it's a bit harder on your feet. Remember that hill walker we saw as we were descending Weatherland and he was going up? Well, we met him on this road and thankfully he offered us a lift. Thank you, Keith. It turned out Keith was 83 and still actively ill walking. And that's the absolutely lovely, lovely Keith driving away who gave us a lift off that... A much needed lift, to be <laughs> off, honest. Off that, um, off that road. So, again, thank you so much, Keith. Uh, back at the van. Whoa. Thank, thank, you, <sighs> thank you, Keith. Thank you, Keith. I'm so wobbly, sorry. We both feel relieved getting back to the van. Me particularly that the van is still there. I do use a fair number of security um, devices and I'll talk about those in another video. As this trip comes to an end, we start to plan other trips for the future. So if you've enjoyed this one, um, don't think it's the, the last. Um, there'll definitely be others in the pipeline. If you've liked the video, don't forget to leave a comment. It's always nice to get comments and uh, interaction from the viewers. And just maybe um, by you watching this video, it's motivated you to get out there and do the same.